Hello, hello. Um, it's been a while since I did my last recording podcast, and today I wanted to share、uh, a new thought on man empowerment, and also there's this term that I hear on the internet like simp, or、um, some people call like the nice guy syndrome. And、uh, and I personally like nice people. They are easygoing. They are fun to hang out with.、Mm, but what I am sharing is,、uh, I guess maybe is the internet with they are called those type of nice guys are the ones who like to people please. And the reason I am. Recording this、uh, video is because I have a、uh, conversation just、uh, about maybe an hour ago with somebody that I met、uh, in the gym, and、um, she recently went to went to Europe. And before she went to Europe, she said she met a guy on a trip,、uh, previous trip to Europe, and she's gonna go there and see him. And、uh, this time. Uh, I was planning on a trip to Europe, so I messaged her and said, "Oh,、uh, how long have you been traveling? I'm planning on going." And then she said,、uh, "She's back." And she, anyway, long story short, she stopped seeing that guy, and she has a new guy that she's seeing. And then she's telling me a little bit about her dating life story, and、uh, I'm not shocked because I have heard stories like that multiple times before. But based on what she's telling me, is that she has lots of lots of guys reaching out to her, asking her out. A lot of them, and she's currently forty five, um, pretty good in shape,、uh, goes to the gym, healthy, and she said the type of guys that she dates are around. Twenty eight year old to thirty four year old, so that is about、uh, over at least over ten years younger than her, and、uh, and she just get a lot of those guys reaching out to her. She says she doesn't even have、uh, dating apps. She doesn't use dating apps. Just having a Instagram account and just have guys dudes reaching out to her, asking her out. And she said, "Why not? Because there are older guys who also date younger girls. Why can't she date younger guys?" And my response is, "Yes, there are older guys who are dating younger girls out there,、um, but those guys they have to set,、uh, spend loads of money, a, a lot of money on those girls."、And、I've met、uh, one guy. He Uh, well, I'm not gonna mention too much about him because、uh, uh, he's in the、uh, meetup groups that we sometimes see each other. He told me a story where he dated this girl for about one year, and this one year she often hint him for money.、Uh, he takes her out to nice restaurants to eat. Um, just pretty much, all the expenses are covered by him. When they go out, take her to nice vacations, and has given her money monthly. So, and he he's currently around forty five, so around her age. And then the girl that he dates probably a little younger, probably like around thirty. Probably I don't I don't quite remember exactly. So anyway, going back to this Instagram friend, she mentioned that she dates younger guys. Why not? Because there are older guys dating younger girls. Why can't she? Yes. The difference is the difference is those older guys they they are also in shape like her. Um, and a lot of the time, I'm not saying all the time, but if if he's 45 dating a younger girl, pretty in shape most of the time from what I've seen, and has money, and guys who ask girls out, they are the ones who are spending money. So, 
So those older guys are spending lots of money on those younger girls. Yes, they're dating younger girls. Where she, 45, who's dating younger guys, she has a lot of options. A lot of options. And it's not, based on what she's telling me, it's not her reaching out to younger guys. It is the younger guys who are hitting on her, who are young, who are reaching out to her to take her out on a date, on dates. And that is the imbalance I, I've seen. There's a major imbalance. Like, you know, she's older with younger guys, and younger guys are still very into uh, and very interested in dating her, which reflects the dating market value as men that we have in the society. It's not very good. We have a lot of desperate guys who are out there and or just wanted to get some dates. Um, I don't know where the noise, the, the, the sound coming from. I hope it's not too distracting in our podcast recording. So I want to bring that up because it, I do think about that quite frequently where when there, when there is this market value imbalance, guys tend to have less, a lot less leverage and women not even considered pretty, a little older tend to have a lot of leverage that it just makes me feel very imbalanced i feel jealous the fact that they are able to have a lot of options where i also know uh guys who i think are fit and has a good career and they are not bad looking tend to struggle a lot more uh, a lot more than the opposite gender and so that's why there are women able to take advantage of the uh, leverage and create sites like OnlyFans to get those guys to subscribe to their sites so they can make a lot of money out of you. So I really highly encourage men to not buy into such things. And I highly discourage that. I feel like we need to have self-respect Spend money on yourself. Invest in your own future. I really believe in that. Don't invest on women that you don't know and has poor qualities about them. Like some a complete stranger. Just you know, doesn't make any sense to me. You know, that's uh, have self respect. Work on yourself. Work on your uh, eating the right food, putting high quality food in your body. Spend time working out, get enough rest, and um, invest in your future. If you want to spend money, spend it on your family. Start a family. That is what I would encourage. Don't spend money on bitches on the OnlyFans uh, who, who takes advantage of guys. I, I saw I saw this uh, news recently where this uh, blonde chick from I don't know where she's from on the news on Instagram and Facebook. It's just been happening. I've been seeing it lately a lot. She slept over three hundred men last year. That's just crazy to me. Like what a fucking slut, able to do that. You know, a lot of STD maybe. Uh, 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 she has an OnlyFan too. It's just like. What a world we live in. Anyway, I encourage men to have more self-respect. Work on yourself. Develop yourself. And don't let those crazy OnlyFans women and uh, distract you and take advantage of you. Or just don't let women take advantage of you in general. Don't take advantage of women either. I find some... Uh, YouTubers who get a lot of clouds I find some of their videos I tend not to agree um, where he say things like oh women are attracted to bad boys and here are the qualities you have to cheat on women like don't I didn't say that but based on what that guy says like women are attracted to men who cheats I find that quite disgusting Uh, what kind of behavior are you trying to promote in society we already have a really mm, toxic society that we're currently living people don't trust each other relationships 
break up a lot and this dude who are sharing it on on so on social media on youtube his parents are divorced so he was like growing up as a single uh, uh living with you know single parent so and he he encourages that he said women are attracted to bad boys who cheat on their girlfriends like i don't know if it's true i'm not a dating expert but it's such a toxic uh, trait that you are promoting um what else did he say like you know like promoting like this unnecessary aggression where like like i see sometimes like guys driving around with a loud ass car and motorcycle or driving around with a large a, lar- a loud car with like extremely loud music when they drive by you other cars start to make sound because it's such a loud noise that he's creating for no reason like why would you do that it's just to me it's just like doesn't make any sense like sometimes you just want to have a peace of mind why do you have to go drive around with a loud ass car and just like want to wake everybody up in the middle of night that's just stupid <laughs> uh that's just like something i find cringy or like the other day at the uh locker room in the in the gym like i have my head no i don't have my headphone on like there are sometimes some guys they will like um like like i'm purposely shut the like the the um the locker um so loud like we're just like bam slam it what are you trying to do what's your purpose are you trying to show dominance or are you trying to start a fight? Or are you trying to scare somebody? I'm not trying to start a fight because I did challenge him. I said, like, what are you doing? I, I turned around, like, what are you doing? He looked at me and he, I don't know, he, he made an excuse and he left. But, like, why do you have to do that? Like, it's so unnecessary. It's like, nobody's fighting you. Nobody's in your way. Why do you have to, like, slam that thing? How about you come over and take a kick from me? Jeez. Um, and then sometimes, like, certain guys, like, yesterday also, like, I almost turn around and and, and, and walk, uh, chase after him and call him out. Like, I was walking to the gym, and then this dude was walking out. It's, like, no sense of, like, respectful boundary. That's what I kind of see sometimes in the USA, where like everybody's like a tough guy walking around with a mean face on their face. Like, it's so unnecessary. He has his shoes in his hand, and then uh, on, our, on our way, I was walking in, he was walking out. Like, sometimes his, somehow his shoe bumped into my fist. At, at first, I thought it was his hand that bumped into my fist, but it was his shoes. I, was, I turned around, he, he, he's gone already. So I was like, you know, those situations just like, like learn to be respectful. Like nobody's there to fight you, and you don't have to act like that. It's just like where do you get that from? Those kind of behavior. It's um. I mean, <laughs> it's it's weird. Like um. Sometimes I encounter people like that, and and I I mean I don't mind. I I'm not afraid of conflict at all. It's pretty fun sometimes having to deal with confrontations this, like many years ago when i was back in new york city i was in a park uh, in ozone park um, that's the neighborhood i grew up in in new york city queens and i was practicing martial arts by myself in the park and there was about 15 guys playing basketball in that park which is pretty nearby me i took a photo i posted one time on on social media where i was at last time i visited new york um so they decided to come challenge me so they came over and surrounded me so i was standing right here and they came and surrounded me and so i was at the time i think i was like around 23 and and i knew like oh man they're looking for challenge they're looking to challenge me so I had to think of something to get myself out of the situation. So the guy who initiated the conversation with me, I said, hey, do you want to give me a kick? I want to, sh- I want to see how powerful you are with your roundhouse because I'm pretty confident with mine. I trained a lot with my kicking. 
uh, and I have a lot of kicking power and practice on trees and poles. And so he threw me a kick, and I said, no, 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 that's not how you kick. Let me show you how I kick. I gave him a really hard kick to his leg. So this guy started limping. And then with the rest of the group, I said, hey, do you guys want to learn some moves? And then they say, yeah, show us some moves. So I, I, I turn it into like a lesson. So I'd say, oh, you guys form rows and uh, make few lines. No smoking in class. I tell the guy with the cigarette in his mouth, you got to drop the cigarette. You can't smoke in my class. So he dropped the cigarette. And then we practice a little while. At the time, I was more into Wing Chun. So sh showing the forms of punching and... And then at the end, like a few minutes later, I showed, like I said, um, do you guys want to learn anymore? And they say, hey, we're good now. So I shook shook a few of their hands. I said, hey, I got to I gotta go. And then I shook, and I shook their hands, and I, I walked, and I jumped home. Like, there are those situations I encounter quite frequently. And it's, it's uh, I mean, I'm used to it. I grew up in the USA. You know, those, those kind of things I'm quite, quite used to dealing with those confrontations and sometimes i'd be happy to give people some kick because like i feel like they need to not mess around sometimes because like you can't get hurt um anyway i i want to bring this up because um i wanted to deliver this message where your time and your money your energy should be invested on developing yourself in your future spend time and money on building up your health putting right food in your body get enough rest and don't be chasing after girls don't chase any girls if a girl likes you she will let you know don't be chasing after any of them and stop lusting and there's a lot of social media memes that i find sometimes kind of cringy where um, on Facebook certain memes about women with nice body and guys would just be like lusting over them. They don't know what kind of quality woman she is, but the guy, those those guys, they just look at women with a nice body would just be like, oh yeah, just like falling into it. I, I tend to discourage that. I feel like uh, we need to have a lot more. Uh, we need to see more value than just the surface level in a woman. We need to find, see the value in the woman with personality, characteristics. Is she healthy? All those things are important because if you only focus on the surface level, it lowers down your market value. It's kind of like the supply and demand. Like women expect a lot from the guys oh he needs to be this height he needs to have this income he needs to uh have this feature he needs to have this uh personality traits he needs to have certain skills like women have a whole list of things that she's looking for whole list and then men will be like oh yeah as long as she's cute or or like uh she's decent whatever and then I'm okay. So, like, the expectation is so imbalanced. That is why women have so much options. That is why the wo women with that's 45-year-old can date 28-year-old. Reason is, guys' expectation so low, we don't have any expectation. Guy uh, girls have a lot. And so, they have a lot of options. Guys will just take anybody. Whereas girls, we say, okay, now I can pick, choose, pick. And that's why you get ghosted. It's because they have a lot of options. I, I, did, a, um, I did a social experiment um, like a few years ago. The story I told uh, a few guys I was hanging out with last night. We went hiking and then we, we went to uh, have dinner. It was great hike, great conversation, good times. And... And the conversation was great, and I, I showed, them, I shared with them um, the story. What was I going to talk about? Oh man, I forgot my like brain fart. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. What was the story about? God, I'm not going to edit this video out, so it's gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have my brain fog. Um, I, I don't remember. Uh, what I was gonna say <laughs> work on my memory I guess 
uh just woke up not so long ago anyway um focus on yourself develop yourself and go to the gym i feel like that helps a lot go to the gym and uh, um don't be chasing women work on yourself and i i, I really don't remember what i was going to say um but anyway anything else that i wanted to share before i sign out um No, I don't. <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, and let me know what you think. And uh, make a few comments, like what kind of videos you like to see in the future. Uh, I know I do a lot of kicking videos, shorts. Um, let me know, like what kind of things that you like to talk about. Like this is one of my interests because it directly affects me, and myself you know uh, as a guy like how how the dating world is for for guys uh, uh in general affects directly with me so i i care about this and i care about other guys um success and image into the society it's uh, it matters a lot so i would say like you know spend time in the gym grow yourself and I, I also highly discourage like guys who walk around acting tough, just so unnecessary. It's it's extremely kind of cringy. Like I feel like they learn it from those uh, books that talk about like uh, girls who are attracted to bad boys and, and aggression is attractive, things like that. Like oh you gotta be macho. What is macho? Oh you gotta act tough. That that is just so unnecessary. It's like it's very cringy and uncomfortable. Um, just be yourself. I really like those certain people who are just like down to earth. They're nice people to hang out with. Nothing wrong with nice people. Nothing wrong with nice guys. But don't be, don't be a people pleaser. Because people pleaser, you um, you're gonna be walk all over, and. Uh, that is not good for your mental health. That is not good for our image. Um, but being nice, I think there's nothing wrong being nice. Nice is great. Like, it's comfortable to hang out with nice people. But don't be a walkover. Have boundaries. Set good boundaries. Protect yourself. I think that's very important. But anyways, um, wish you a good weekend and we'll talk soon.